Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the batteries in a Arlo Essential Spotlight camera. So Arlo says that the batteries in this camera are not replaceable. Okay, that's what they say. But that is not true. They can be replaced if you know what you're doing. Now, I'm going to warn you, um, as soon as you open up this camera, you will automatically void the warranty. I don't care because this camera is older and the warranty has expired. So, that's no big deal to me. And like I said, the warranty has expired. So the symptoms that I was getting with this camera was when I plugged it in to charge, I got nothing. I got no indicator lights on the front when I plugged it in. You know how when you plug in your camera to charge, you'll get an indicator light on the front that it's, that it's totally charging. I got none of that. So basically nothing. Nothing! It was as if the camera was totally dead, right? The batteries was totally dead. I figured since this camera is kind of old and out of warranty, uh, I figured I would open this bad boy up and attempt to replace the batteries because I think that is the issue with the camera is it needs new batteries. So the tools you're gonna need for the disassembly is a number zero screwdriver, a torque five screwdriver, a spooger tool, a small pick, a magnifying glass, and some light, preferably a flashlight, to be able to see the small screws. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to remove the back cover. And to do that, you got a Torque 5 screw right here. And underneath the barcode sticker, you have a Phillips head screwdriver. So that is the T5 screw removed, and uh, next is the Phillips That's out now, and uh, now we're going to get our spooger tool, I'm going to try to pry this off.
just got to pry it. Oh, there we go. Just got to be patient with it. All right, so it's coming off, as you can see. It's a couple tabs. All right, so this is off. You can see how it's orientated. Uh, it has an O-ring on the on the inside. All right, so that's off. And um, you can see the battery is right there. You can get a good look at it. So now it's a situation where you're going to need the flashlight because I'm sure it's probably hard to see. You have four more. T5 screws and then in the middle you have some uh, two more Phillips so you may need the flashlight to see them I put a shine a little light in there maybe you guys can see these on camera probably not because they're so small but anyways that's what I got to assemble next to be able to get the little compartment out that holds the battery. Okay, Phillips right here, going for first. Okay, that's out. And then the the another Phillips on the other side. Okay. Here's the other Phillips. Right here is the other Phillips. So put that right there. All right, so we have four T T5s. One, two, three, four. I'll take those out next. Okay, you can see the T5 on the end of the screwdriver.
Okay. There's the third T5. And I can really feel this loose now. And the last T5. Okay, this should come out now. Well, ooh. Not yet. So there are two more Phillips heads right up above the mini USB charging port that we need to take out to be able to pull this battery out, to pull this battery compartment out. So I'm going to do those next. All right, so there's one, and these screws are really small, so you have to be careful not to lose them. So that's why I'm orientating them after I'm taking them out. And I'm being really careful that it's coming out and it's not rolling all up, it's not rolling everywhere. Yeah, you gotta be real careful. This is where the picket comes into play. Alright, so I got that out. So I'm just going to orientate my screws. So I can keep up with them. I know you can't see this, but I'm just putting the screws together. What screws go where? Okay. Now this should come on out. All right, here we go. That's out. So booyah. All right, so of course right here we got the face of the camera as you can see. And the battery is um, a AT&T battery, rechargeable. It is a Arlo brand. Okay, the rating is 3.63 volts. Okay, so from what I can see to take this out, what you need to do is there's a couple clips, there's a clip here. And then there's a clip here, and then there's a clip here, and the clip here. So all these clips need to be pushed back, and this and this will pull out. And then also you have to be careful when this is coming out. Uh, there, here's a circuit board that the battery plugs into and this um, this connector has four wires so like I said uh, you would have to disconnect it from the circuit board okay and then you would 
unclip it right here, here, and here, and here. And then this whole little compartment that holds the battery will come out. Okay, and then once this comes out, you would basically slide the battery out. Okay, you would you would push up and slide the battery out. So that's how the battery comes out, as you can see. And I'm trying to I'm trying to be thorough and show you guys this how this is orientated. But yeah.